I started collecting White Mountain books when I was 12 years old, and uh, for some reason it, the um, fascination with books just kept going, and today I own over 100,000 books, and, and in order to, to survive, I have to sell them. <laughs> been selling books for 20, over 20 years. I do a lot of children's, uh, you, a lot of local regional history, uh, cookbooks, uh, modern first editions. Um, and some of the things I tend to carry are the scarce or unusual sign limited editions, uh, first editions. Uh, I have a first edition Uncle Remus or Dick and Jane's. Um, I also have Thornton Burgess. And, and Uncle Wiggly's, uh, some of the older types of books that a lot of people grew up on. But also a lot of the modern, like Tommy DePaulor and Michael Haig and Barbara Cooney, uh, you know, the new, good New England authors. The main thing that I sell are Ipperns, which are mostly made in the late 1800s in England, mostly from Stourbridge, which is a suburb or a part of Birmingham in England. And they're all very delicate, very decorative. Some are very usable and some are more for ornament and uh, very attractive on a centerpiece, as a centerpiece for a table or on a sideboard. Some come in mirror form, some come in basket form. I saw one in silver plate that I liked and I really wasn't sure what it was so I investigated it and used it a lot and then became addicted. So I just kept buying them and now I'm selling them as well as buying them for myself. Do you find it difficult to part with some of them? Yes, some of them, but they're very unusual ones and they're becoming much and much, much more difficult to find because if you break one piece of it, you've broken the whole thing. There's nobody to repair them properly or to re-blow them. I think there's some, there's a company in England making new ones, but they're different. You can tell the difference between the new and the old. 